Hello everyone, it's Richard here. This is a quick video to go over one of the upgrades I did during the summer. And as you remember, this is the E3D Big Box. This is actually the prototype that I got before the Big Box was finished on the Kickstarter. So this is not quite the same as the production version and I've used this for all sorts of different developments and playing around with some of the new extruders and hot ends that E3D have been developing. Well, just as the summer started, I was contacted by Think3D, Print3D to see if I wanted to have a look at a new set of electronics, ARM-based electronics. And this is the Duet range, so this is the new Duet Wi-Fi, which is an evolution of their previous ranges that were used in the RepRap Pro and their own range of printers. They've been used on Delta printers and Prusa style 3D printers, all sorts of different things. So the RepRap Duo Wi-Fi is an evolution. Um, so its main change is the stepper drivers and the fact that it's now Wi-Fi connected rather than direct Ethernet connected. Now last year I built up a uh, RepRap Fisher with my daughter and that was using the Duo, I think a 0 0.85 version, may have been a 6.6. It was the previous version anyway, and that was used for the uh, RepRap Fisher, which was a really nice board and a nice introduction to using that system. It's uh, Wi-Fi, it's um, Ethernet connected, so it used a web-based interface to actually talk to the printer, which my daughter found really easy to use. You can get to all the settings, use Slicer, sliced up the um, 3D printed models and send them straight to there. So anyway, summer started and I decided it would be a really good idea to put it into the big box in the prototype one because I had already had made quite a few changes to the rumba and the drivers that were in there I had a rumba expansion because I was experimenting with a different carriage on here that was a mag fit quick fit I had a, stra a strap over the front here as well that could dock the extruders more on that later I'm not quite happy with it yet so I've gone back to my quick fit rather than the mag fit fitting for the extrusion so this is the same quick fit fitting I've got on my other big box 3d printer and it's still got also the same or another uh, e3d volcano in here I made a couple of changes used my bed ex bed extenders and basically just got the machine back up to speed uh, with motors that had a different motor in here for, for, on the original prototype so it's now got the same 400 step motors on all the axes. The good thing about the Duo Wi-Fi is that it's got new TMC 2600 steppers on which are really nice. They can go up to 256 micro steps. I've not used them at that higher level yet. It's ARM based platform so it has got a lot of capacity for expansion for the future. There is there is an expansion board, a span, expansion connector on there that you can put extra channels on for multiple extruders. By standard, as, as standard it comes with two extruders and all of the chips are, are soldered down on there. So the TMC 2600s are built on and they run really nicely. They keep, keep nice and cool. It's a multi-layer board with heat sinking all built on. So it worked really well. Very easy to connect up actually. I found it uh, was very straightforward. And the biggest difference I found with running the Duo Wi-Fi in here now instead of the original Rumba is that all the motors run absolutely super smooth and nice and quiet. The machine itself was quite a noisy machine because it was the pre-production. It had some 12 volt fans instead of 24 volt fans and other things that made it quite loud. But so if I just turn this one on, you'll hear this is actually it defaults to the cooling fan coming on as well. So that's as loud as it's going to get. And when it moves around, let's just do a quick home. We've got a really nice motion on the printer now and much quieter. When it's printing, it's probably half the noise level that uh, the other big box printer is. So it's a, it's a really nice change and upgrade. The other really super cool thing that uh, Think 3D Print 3D sent through to me was a seven-inch touchscreen, and it's absolutely spectacular. Uh, it's revolutionised the way I run this printer. So I actually made a, a little fitting for it, which clips on to the front of the machine, and, and it's on a tether, so it allows you just to use the touchscreen and go backwards and forwards through the menus. 
what this is doing is replicating what you see on the web user interface. So again, that's really nice because you, everything you see on the screen you see on the on the web interface as well. So the last thing that was perfectly good timing for me was that I was approached by a company wanting to uh, test some 3D printing filament and this is polyalchemy. I've got another video on polyalchemy which you'll see a lot more that I've printed but the reason why I mention it is because it was at the same time as I was upgrading the big box and so it worked really well because tuning in a new uh, extrusion based system, a new set of electronics, a new firmware and settings takes quite a lot of 3D printing filament so I actually used a lot of the polyalchemy uh, elixir filament which was it is a really nice filament I'll have a look at the other video if you haven't seen it already because there's a whole load of time lapse and various things and the reason why I'm talking about it now is because I did all of the printing of the polyalchemy on this new printer setup to tune it and we did I went through quite a lot of test prints to get all of the tuning just right and ended up with some absolutely beautiful prints some of the polyalchemy filaments that I was sent were very special ones they're not, not actually available yet so there were some transitional color ones that we can see and various other, various other ones this one this is a very nice musical pot by Mark Durbin so yeah it's a very very nice one that it's very happy and a few of the this is a multicolored print, which is very nice, and even this one, multicolored printing with the polyalchemy elixir. So, printed lots and lots and lots of little test pieces and various things to get this all tuned in, and now I'm really delighted and happy with it. So, this is really given me a good insight of the next level of arm-based electronics that's going to be hopefully used in more and more 3D printers, open source 3D printers. So they're in full production now. They, this was a pre-production just before they finalised the design. They only made a couple of little tweaks based on my and other people's feedback from the beta testing group. So now they're in full production. I believe August time, the end of August, was when they shipped out the first lot of samples. Uh, for the full production batch and they're probably just about in full production now so might have been a slight delay on that batch I will double check on their website but uh, the actual electronics were designed as a partnership with Think 3D Think 3D Print 3D and David Crocker and David Crocker originally made also the little uh, optical sensor that the big box team over at E3D used on the original big box which is a infrared based sensor for bed leveling so David has used his extensive experience with designing electronics to also go into um, a joint venture with Think 3D Print 3D on this electronic set the new Duo Wi-Fi which is really great because I think he's done a cracking job and I love everything about it there was only a few things I fed back as things I would possibly change just to make it a little bit easier but considering this was a beta board, uh, it was amazing how well it worked. The firmware update is very easy to do, and also any of the files you put on the SD card transfer incredibly quickly over the over the wireless interface, which is a real bonus because it feels like you're using a 3D printer of today rather than of three or four, five years ago, which a lot of us are still doing with slow SD card interfaces and serial links and various other things. So this has made a massive difference and I do intend to put this electronics in a few other printers that I've got. I'll leave you with some things that I've printed on here and do check out the Polyalchemy Elixir video as well just to see a little bit more of those wonderful time lapses. Okay, I'll update again on this and give some more details. There'll be a blog post as well, but just wanted to let you know what I was doing during the summer. Uh, thanks ever so much for watching. I'll be back again soon.